Hello, my name is Michael. This video tutorial will go over the concepts of static routing. Static routing is primarily used in small networks that are not anticipated to grow very much. Thus, maintaining the routing table is much easier, since the routes are manually entered into the routers. The other advantages of static routing include minimal router CPU processing, easier configuration, and security for broadcasting router and routing table details. By the time this video tutorial is over, you will know how to configure static routes between the routers and configure summary static routes. Here we go. In the interest of time, we will base this tutorial off of Packet Tracer Exercise E2-232. Begin by clicking R1, which is Router 1. Go to the Command Line Interface tab. Hit Enter here to bring up this prompt. Type Enable to enter Privilege Exec mode. Enter Global Configuration Mode by entering in Config T. We will now configure the static routes for Router R1. Start by entering in IP Route 172.16.1.0 two. Although this will correctly route any packets that intend on going to the 172.16.1.0 network, we will change the 172.16.2.2, which is the next hop IP address, to its exit interface, which in this case is router R2's serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface. So, erase the next hop IP and enter in S0 slash 0 slash 0 instead. Configuring a static route to a next hop's exit interface instead of its IP address can result in a more efficient route lookup process, since the router does not have to resolve the IP address within its routing table. Note that in certain situations, you would want to configure a static route with the next hop IP address and not the exit interface. Those situations, however, are beyond the scope of this tutorial. Hit enter. Continue entering the rest of the static routes with the following commands. IP route 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.0 S0 slash 0 slash 0. Hit enter. IP route 192.168.2.0.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
and save the NVRAM. Now, for router 3. For router R3, enter in IP route 172.16.1.0.255.255.255.0 S0 slash 0 slash 1 then IP route 172.16.2.0.255.255.255.0 S0 slash 0 slash 1 and finally IP route 172.16.3.0.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
To confirm that the summing route works, from PC1 ping PC3 with the command ping 192.168.2.10. It should be successful. Done. You have now successfully completed this packet tracer tutorial. Thank you for watching.